Dr. Yasmin, board certified gynecologist and menopause specialist, wanted to come on quickly to talk about the blood test in perimenopause and menopause. So what happens in perimenopause? There is a huge fluctuation of estrogen and progesterone. The estrogen is high at times and then it comes low. The progesterone is kind of trending down. We don't have an accurate test for perimenopause. Like we could take a snapshot of a very dynamic process that's happening in your body. We could get high estrogen or low estrogen when we take that blood test. It's mainly your symptoms that are resulting from this fluctuation, so we don't have an ideal test. But in menopause, we do have two tests. One is your estradiol, your serum estradiol, and the other is follicular stimulating hormone or FSH. And if this FSH is very high beyond a certain limit, like 30 or 35 international units, and if we have low estradiol, at least on two occasions, you're in menopause. I hope this helps.